Hey, Emily. Hi, Alyssa. What's up? I don't usually get texts from you. Is everything all right? Yeah, everything is fine. I'm doing good. I was just wondering why Roger got home so late. Why did you keep him so late? You guys were together super late. Did you two have fun? Was it a romantic evening? Huh? What are you talking about? We just went to see that new exhibit downtown. You know the one Roger's been wanting to go to for ages? It took longer than expected. That's all. The exhibit? Are you sure that's all it was? Because let me tell you, Emily, there are plenty of ways an evening can go late that doesn't involve dusty old artifacts. Alyssa, I swear, it was completely innocent. We grabbed dinner after. That's probably why it took so long. But trust me, nothing happened. Ugh, okay, fine. If that's really the case, then that's good to know. But I have no way of confirming that. Remember, Emily, Roger is a good boy. He deserves someone who respects him, and that includes respecting the boundaries of a decent relationship. Um, yeah, okay. But we got back pretty late because it was a long drive from the city, that's why. Don't worry, Alyssa. Nothing like that happened while we were together. It's all good. It better be all good. Because let me tell you, Emily, if you think you're going to snag my son with some late night exhibits and fancy dinners, you've got another thing coming. And try not to always want to spend time with him. You two are together too much. Roger needs his space, and frankly, so do you. Ah, okay, Alyssa. I'll keep those in mind from now on. Hey, babe. Did you ask your mom when she has time? When did she say she'll be okay meeting with us? Oh, yeah, I did. She said you guys can come anytime this weekend. She won't be busy by then. Glad it worked out. All right, we'll be there to meet your parents. By the way, you sound kind of down. Is everything okay? Oh, no. It's nothing serious. No, babe, tell me what's wrong. You know you can tell me anything. Yesterday night, your mom texted me and I kind of got scolded by her. Huh? My mom scolded you? For what? She said I was with you for too long. And because you didn't get home until super late at night. And then, she kept asking whether we slept together or did it. And she said that we have to get married to each other if we did it. Did she really say all that? That's unbelievable. Yeah, I know we got back late yesterday. But that happened before, and she didn't really say much. But yesterday night, she said those things to me, and I'm kind of in shock. And not sure how to react to that. But, like... Sure. Let's say we did sleep together last night. It's not like it's any of her business anyway. We're grown adults. Oh, uh, baby, don't let it get to you too much. She is, well, she's an old-fashioned churchgoer, and she strongly believes in not having sex before marriage. That's why she's like that. I mean, I go to church too, but I'm not as serious as she is. But now that I am being judged and practically interrogated by your mom... It kind of feels a bit uncomfortable. Ugh, I don't like hearing you feel down. I want to make you feel better, babe. Should we go to the beach after I finish my work? The beach? I'm afraid your mom will say something again if we do go. What if she starts asking questions about where we were or why I'm back so late? Oh, come on. I'll just tell her that I am working overtime. I know you love the beach, babe. Let's go to the beach after work. I want to take you there and we can get something good for dinner. Maybe some fresh seafood? Then stroll on the beach, hand in hand, just the two of us. Imagine the sunset, the sound of the waves crashing against the shore. Okay, I actually would love to do that. Especially after all this... tension. Maybe what'll help us clear our heads. Great, then it's settled. I'll come pick you up at your workplace. I'll be waiting by the gate with a big bouquet of your favorite flowers. Just you wait and see. This evening will be perfect, and we'll forget all about my mom. Hey, you. There you are. Are you making my son tell lies to me now? I can't believe this. Um, Alyssa? Is everything alright? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me. 
explain this. This was posted on the night Roger told me he was going to be working overtime. Did you two seriously go to the beach at night and stay there till the next morning? Why would he tag that location? Did you two sleep in the same hotel and do it? Are you seriously going to just use your body like that? No, Alyssa. It was not anything like that at all. It is true that I went to the beach with Roger, but we did not do anything that you're thinking of. Roger just wanted to cheer me up after what happened the other night, and he knows I love the beach. So he took me there. That is all, and that is the truth. My dear son Roger has never lied to me ever, not once. So it surprises me greatly that he liked me about where he was going. Now, since he met you, he has lied to me and even went on an overnight trip with you. He has never done any of this before he came along. And here you are saying that nothing happened between you two. And you guys stayed there overnight. Who would believe that? I'm sure you two didn't just hold hands and sing campfire songs all night. Am I wrong? You aren't wrong about where we slept. We did sleep in the same room, but nothing more happened. Ugh, I knew it. So you and Roger did do it, didn't you? Tell me the truth. I cannot understand how you, a grown woman, do not have the mental strength to stop yourself from giving in to temptation. I mean, once you marry each other, you two can do it as much as you like. Is it really that hard for you to wait a few more months? Can't you stop yourself from doing anything dirty before you become a wife? Alyssa, I am telling you the truth. Nothing happened that night. I swear to God, we were both really tired that day from being at the beach all day. So we ended up just sleeping pretty early. Isn't that what normal people do after a long day at the beach? Whatever, Emily. Just know that I'll be watching you too closely. You are a woman. And with great beauty comes great responsibility. Don't just carelessly use your body in that way. You wouldn't want to disappoint Roger, would you? After all, a good wife should save herself for her husband. Do you understand me? Yes, Alyssa. I understand. Hey, Emily. Question for you. Hey, Alyssa. Is there anything I can help you with? Where did Roger sleep last night? He didn't come home. Did he not tell you? He actually did tell me, but I also want to hear it from you. So tell me. Don't try to sugarcoat it, Emily. Where did he spend the night? Huh? Okay. We, um, we went to the new place we leased together and slept there. Yesterday, Roger had to work overtime. And he was super tired that he didn't have the energy to drive all the way to his house. And the new place is a lot closer. So we just went there. It made sense at the time. Ugh, are you being serious right now? Do you not take what I tell you seriously? I am not joking, okay? That place literally has nothing in it. No beds, no blankets, no furniture. There is nothing there yet. You two still went ahead and did it there. You two are going to get married soon. And you two just can't wait, huh? I don't understand why it's so hard for you two just to not do it. What are you, some sort of animal that can't control yourselves? That you would rather sleep on the floor? Huh? No. Alyssa, I went there last night and brought some blankets and sheets. What? You went there and brought sheets and a blanket just so you could do it there? Oh my goodness. What am I supposed to say to that, Emily? No. No. It's not that I worded that wrong. I meant I brought those for Roger so he could sleep. I even brought him some food so that he can have something to eat. After that, I left the place and slept at home. Did Roger not tell you that? Do you really think I would believe that? I already told you so many times before, Emily. I told you not to do any of those dirty things before getting married. But you never listen. Is it really that hard to stop yourself from wanting to do it? Is that really an impossible request for you? Do you not care about your own body at all? Alyssa, let me just get this straight. I get that you may just be worried about me, and I appreciate that you care about me, but that is not something you should meddle in. That is my own privacy, and I am also being very careful. These days, Roger and I have been so busy getting everything ready for our wedding, so we always end up staying out late. And because of all the preparations, we have to meet more often than usual. 
I can say this with confidence, though. You have nothing to worry about. Ugh, seriously. Kids nowadays just so uncontrollable. There isn't anything I can do about it. Anyway, you two better not be doing that until you two get married. I just cannot stand that you don't listen to me regarding this topic. Got it? Babe, I think this is starting to really stress me out. Now I try not to think about it too much, but it's starting to take a toll on me. Every time your mom throws those accusations at me, it feels like a punch to the gut. Huh? What's wrong? Your mom. She texted me again and talked about that. She asked me why you didn't come home yesterday, and she kept drilling me with questions about whether we slept together. It's like she doesn't trust us at all. And the way she phrases it, dirty things. Honestly, every time she contacts me about that, I feel so queasy because she makes it sound like I'm some kind of tramp. What, again? Oh my goodness. I really need to do something about that with her. This is getting ridiculous. I know, right? Honestly, every time she contacts me about that, I feel so queasy because she makes it sound like I'm some girl just sleeping with any guy I meet. It's disrespectful. Not just to me, but to you as well. We're in a committed relationship, Roger, and we're about to get married. Shouldn't that count for something? I am so sorry she has made you feel that. Please just wait a bit more. I'll talk to her about this and make sure she does not do that to you again, okay? Trust me, I'll set things straight. Oh, and one more thing. Let's say we did sleep and do those things together. Let's just make a hypothetical and say we did the things that your mom is accusing us of. So what? What's so wrong with those? We are both grown adults. And on top of that, we are dating and about to get married. I totally agree with you, Emily. We did nothing wrong at all. My mom is definitely at fault here, so I'll talk to her about this. It's none of her business what goes on in our relationship. I really tried to brush it off all these times. She would call or text me about those. But this time it is seriously making me angry. If this keeps on going, it might make me rethink marrying you because this is just too much. What? Emily, don't say that. We are not even married yet. Yet she is already telling me to do this or do that. Don't you think this will just get worse after we get married? She's interfering with all the little things we are doing and try to control our every move. I just know it will get worse if I become her daughter-in-law. And I'm afraid I won't be able to take that. No, Emily, no, don't think that, please. I will seriously talk about this with my mom and make sure she does not meddle in our lives as a couple. I'll sit down with her and talk about this topic and I will firmly tell her to never discuss those things with you or even try to control your decisions. I'll also ask her to apologize to you for doing those things. So please calm down, okay? I'll take care of it. Ugh. I don't know, Roger. I just feel so stressed and mentally drained because of this. I don't know what to do. Maybe we should just push back our wedding date. Hey, what exactly did you tell your mom? What? What do you mean? Your mom texted me again and was super angry at me. She went on and on about disrespecting you and how I'm a terrible influence. What did you tell her, Roger? Ugh, here we go again with mom. I got home earlier and I was angry at her, so we had a big fight. I just finished showering and came to my room. But then what now? What is it this time? What else do you want me to stand for, huh? Do you want me to completely cut ties with my mom? Will that make you happy, Emily? Tell me, what do you want me to do? What? Roger, why are you being like this? I don't understand why you're turning this on me. I never asked you to cut ties with your mom. I'm also trying my best to fix this, okay? Earlier, I was screaming at my own mother, the woman who brought me into this world. But I did that to protect you. But then now you're angry with me. If you were in my position, wouldn't you get angry too? You know how stubborn my mom can be. It's like talking to a brick wall sometimes. No, I mean, it's just that it seemed like you exaggerated my words to her. And that made her extra angry at me. I never said those things about her. 
I never called her disrespectful or anything like that. So I'm upset at you for changing what I told you. And I never asked to scream or yell or fight with her. You make it sound like I demanded that you lash out at her. Okay, so did she apologize to you then? She told me that she said sorry to you. Is that true? She told me that she will not do that to you again, didn't she? Isn't that enough? Yeah, she did say sorry to me and that she won't do it again, but... But what? What's the other problem now? What else should we be doing for you, huh? This whole thing is stressing me out and it seems like no matter what I do, it's never enough. Ugh, whatever, Roger. I'm tired of talking about this. Let's talk again later when we both calm down. This conversation isn't going anywhere right now. You need to calm down, Emily, and stop being so dramatic over this. Can't you see that she's old? Can't you just let it slide and think she's like this because of her age? You know that most old people get naggy like that. Why can't you see it that way? Why do you have to take it so personally and tell me every single thing that upsets you? You need to know how to deal with that yourself, too. Okay. Fine. Fine. Roger. I'll deal with it. Let's talk again later. But right now, I need some space. Hey, Emily. Are things okay between you and my son, Roger? He's been acting so out of sorts lately, barely eating and sleeping like a rock all day. Huh? Why? What's wrong? Well, it's just that Roger has been so low on energy these days and he's been coming home super late recently. I asked him if it's because there's something going on between you two and he said it is not. So I'm just worried why he's been like this the past few days. Is there something you're not telling me, Emily? Um, no. Nothing is really going on between us two. And I haven't seen him for a week now. Why? Did you two get in a fight or something? Because if you did, you two need to talk it out. Marriage is all about communication, you know? Well, not really. We have just been kind of busy. Wedding planning and all that, you know? Emily, listen. Many things happen in life, good and bad. If you two get in a fight and argue, and then not see or talk to each other for a week, you might as well reconsider getting married. This happens often in couples, and if you two can overcome this, then you might as well not get married. But what is it? What did you two fight about this time? Oh no, it's nothing really, Alyssa. It's just we had some issues here and there. So... I already told you that I will not stick my nose in your business about sleeping together or doing things together. So what is it that you guys are fighting about now? Are you two by any chance meeting up together without telling me and just lying that you guys fought? That's not what it is, right? What? No, of course not. We wouldn't do something like that. I've been telling Roger to not sleep with you here and there. So now I'm thinking that you two are doing things behind my back. Am I right? What? What did you just say? That's none of your business. I have also been telling Roger that he should be a virgin until he gets married. You think staying a virgin before marriage is just for women. It's also the same for men. That's why I tell my son not to sleep with you yet. Or else he has to marry you. He won't have a choice but to do that. It's just you never know, you know? Things can happen so easily these days. What? That's reaching. Marriage shouldn't be forced because of something like that. Why are you acting so surprised? You heard me right. Plus, you also go to church, don't you? So I would assume that you have the same values as us when it comes to things like this, or not. Well, yeah, I go to church too, but this is a bit too much. This is our relationship, Lissa. And you have no right to dictate our personal lives like that. What do you mean? Ugh, anyway, you two didn't sleep together yet, right? I hope that is the case, or else. And just take care of your own body, Emily. Don't just sleep with anyone. If you do it once, men will be able to tell immediately. You got that? Ugh, seriously? Why are you invading my private life like this? I just don't understand. 
This is not for you to have any say in. Of course I have a say in it. I am just worried about you and Roger. And now you're making me raise my voice. Oh, you are just so stubborn. Anyway, you better not do it. And especially not with Roger. Hey, you. What? Hey, you? We haven't seen or talked to each other in more than a week, and that's the first message you send me? I don't think I can go on with getting married to you, to be honest. Oh, my freaking goodness. Here we go again. Is this about your fight with mom again? I told you, I already talked to her and she apologized. What else do you want me to do? Oh my freaking goodness. Is that how you're gonna talk to me? If there's anybody here who should be freaking out, it is me, you small-brained mama's boy. What did you just call me? A mama's boy? You know that's not fair, Emily. Just because my mom can be overbearing sometimes doesn't mean I don't stand up for myself or for you. Yep. Your dear mom yelled at me again. Apparently, she would tell you the same thing every day, huh? To not sleep with me? Knowing that she told you that all the time and you're not doing anything about it just shocks me. We are not some sort of sex addicts, Roger. And I don't just sleep with any guy. Nor do I sell my body for those kind of reasons. I can't believe you don't care to shut her down or to tell her to mind her own business, even though she would do the same to you about waiting until marriage. Ugh. My mom has just been like that ever since I was little. Do you think I can change her personality that fast? What do you want me to do, lock her in her room? That's what I mean. There is no way I can live with you, Roger. You can't even protect me or be my shield against your own mother. I can't imagine what it would be like if we were actually got married. I'd probably have to defend myself from her constant nagging all by myself. So forget about the wedding. I don't want to get married to you. We are over. If you and my mom had a big talk about that, shouldn't that be enough to just let it go? Maybe you could try to talk to her too. Explain things from your perspective. Oh my goodness. You two are the most frustrating people ever. Do you seriously think I want to get in a big fight with you and your mom? Dealing with your mom's constant harping about our sex life is already bad enough. Jesus Christ. To be honest, I thought our relationship would get better if we got married and lived farther away from your own mom. That really gave me some hope, you know? But now that it has gotten this bad, I just know it would be so much worse if we became a married couple. There is no way I will ever want to be a part of your family. And I'm going to leave it at that. So what you're saying is you want to back out from our wedding? No way! I am not letting that happen. We've already sent out invitations, booked the venue, everything. We can't just call it all off now. What do you mean, no way? You have no rights in telling me what not to do, you little mama's boy. Why don't you go to your mama and ask her to cuddle you? I suffered enough from her, and now I am suffering from you. I am not letting this get any worse for me. So, bye. You, you will regret saying that. I have been treated so badly, even though I made it clear that it was making me uncomfortable. Anyway, I will tell my mom about all this. So you go tell this good news to your mom. I bet she will be dancing out of joy when she hears that I'm calling our wedding off. After that, Roger tried to call me many times, and he even waited for me by the gate of my workplace. But I never accepted his phone call, nor did I ever go out to meet him. It was really getting tiring. So I blocked his phone number and I eventually told my mom about everything that happened. She was really upset that it came to that because she just wants me to be happy. But in the end, we called off the wedding and I will not marry a mama's boy like Roger. And now that I think back to it, I don't know why I decided to stick with that and endure it for so long. I am so disgusted by what I had to deal with. What kind of mother would butt in about her son's sex life? And not just her son, but even his girlfriend. I should have realized it sooner. But anyway, I am glad that I called off the wedding and woke up to my senses. I will just try and learn from that mistake and live my life fully with more experience and knowledge. I will also make sure that the guy I marry is someone who truly loves and treasures me and will defend and make me happy.